Everywhere in Martin's hometown, he saw the signs white only. His mother said these signs were in all southern cities and towns in the United States. Every time Martin read the words, he felt bad until he remembered what his mother told him. You are as good as anyone. You hear me? In church, Martin sang hymns. He read from the Bible. He listened to his father preach. These words made him feel good. When I grow up, I am going to get big words too. Martin grew up. He became a minister like his father. And he saw and he used the big words he had heard as a child from his parents and from the Bible. Everyone can be great. He studied the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. He learned how the Indian nation won freedom without ever firing a gun. Martin said, love when others said hate. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. He said, together. When others said, separate. He said, peace. When others said, war. Sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together. Many white southerners hate the, and feared Martin's words. A few threatened to kill him and his family. And his house was bombed. His brother's house was bombed, but he refused to stop. Remember, if I stop, this movement will not be stopped because God is in this movement. Marches continued. More and more Americans listened to Martin's words. And he shared his dreams and filled them with hope. I have a dream that one day in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. After 10 years of protests, the lawmakers in Washington voted to end the segregation. The white only sign in the South came down. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. cared about all Americans. He cared about people all over the world and people all over the world admired him. In 1964, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. He won it because he taught others to fight with words, not fists. Martin went wherever people needed help. In April 1968, he went to Memphis, Tennessee. He went to help garbage collectors who were on strike. He walked with them and talked with them and sang with them and prayed with them. On his second day there, he was shot and he died. Freedom, peace. His big words are alive for us today. Together, I have a dream. And that dream 
is love. Martin's big words. I have a dream and that dream is